One word I would use is collaborative, and I think that it um, really forges some partnerships, some that happened informally before, but it helps create a formal space to, to create those, those collaborations. And so um, I, I especially appreciate the um, cross-state uh, collaboration that eExtension provides. The second word I would use is um, innovation. And um, I think eExtension e really tries to be on the cutting edge of technologies that can help us in our job and, and giving us trainings and, and more information about those technologies. We're actually really fortunate here in Ohio because we have Keith Smith as our director and he has been uh, very supportive of eExtension and um, has actually even fit eExtension programming into our um, promotion and tenure documents. And so that, I think that that speaks volumes um, for coming from a staff member to, to put it actually in the documents to have a place to record these, these type of things. And so I think that um, across the state, we're able to do our jobs even better because we're not just just solely focused internally. We're also looking out nationwide to see what what are, what's happening um, around the country, and we're able to work collaboratively with with um, different states as well. I see the future of the extension just continuing the, the job that it has been doing, which is to continue to forge partnerships um, in um, and collaborations in, in different projects. Because I know that right now we have we have some community several lots of community communities of practice, but I think that there are other areas of interest that maybe haven't aren't covered yet. So I can see that expanding. I also um, you know technology and these um, innovative ways to do programming is always going to change and so I, I see eExtension continuing to be um, on the cusp of that and continuing to uh, to push us in, in those different directions. And, and as people adopt them, I actually see eExtension, um, there being an even larger need for eExtension. For e